Today is the day she should be going into heat. Let's just check and see what's going on. Not much really. We're watching today to see if she's in heat because this is approximately 80, like two days or 80 days after she got injured and it's 20 or 21 days after she was in heat last time. If the bull doesn't act crazy and she doesn't act like she's in heat, then she's most likely pregnant. And nothing is happening here. Everybody's completely chill. I call this the volume switch on the pigs. It's just some food because they go from crazy loud to very quiet instantly. Just pig eating noises. Come on, I need to put those wires. No. You said you still jump on top of me. Come on, get, get. He's pretty chill normally. This is kind of his normal demeanor is you can scratch him down and he'll usually walk away from you but if he's eating hay, he'll stand and let you scratch him down. He's got all kinds of dust and hair on him. This is not a bull standing near a cow who's in heat. Well, specifically on the other side of a fence from a cow who's in heat. This is a bull who's near a pregnant cow. So he's got nothing to do, so he just focused on his food and getting his side scratched. <sighs> when you spread out those leaves of hay like that, the waste hay that's left from the cows eating is so evenly scattered that it won't kill the grass. And so I'm just trying to spread out that impact, but also spread out that organic matter over this overly grazed section we have them on now. Tell the chickens to go away. Mm -hmm. Go away, chickens. Hey, so um, I'm gonna go to Meg's this afternoon. Okay. It's the best time. For me. What time? I said I'd be there around four-ish. So I'm gonna get her dinner into the crock pot right now. Okay, cool. She wants me to come today. You driving your car? Her body condition actually looks really good. We always get comments on this, which that's that's fine. But for a dairy cow, she's actually in really good shape right now, considering she's lactating and maybe dropping a little weight. Good girl. The cow's been grazing in the yard for the past hour, and I'm just walking her back to the pasture, but she doesn't want to go. <laughs> and she's not afraid of me or anything, so. She's just kind of like, eh, I'll just try to ignore you, but she's going now. Just one more piece of evidence that she's not in heat, i.e. she is pregnant, is that she's been out of the pasture and out of sight of the bull for the past hour. And if, jump over girl, if she was pregnant, I mean, if she was in heat, from our experience, he would be going crazy because he would be able to smell her and he was totally quiet the whole time. Now, can, we, can we toss these two? So today we are throwing away books. It's pretty sad about this. I, um, I really love my books and I have a really good collection of books. I have a lot of classics, a lot of really beautiful books, um, lots of picture books and novels and just so many good class classics that I've collected over the years, uh, mostly used, you know. So this is a little bit painful, it's very painful. <laughs> oh, I don't want to throw books away, it seems so wasteful and wrong. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go get a mask and some gloves and um, just look at them for a minute, but I think that it would just make it harder. I just always felt like books are not meant to be thrown away. <laughs> Every move we've ever made, I've refused to get rid of books unless we absolutely like never read it and never would read it. So this is really hard. <laughs> No. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, my goodness. 
Those are all of our Christmas books. Okay. You might think we should have done this a long time ago, and you're pretty much right. But it's a weird area where it's like we don't, we probably could keep them, but it's making these hard decisions to say like what is the ideal thing to do. And it kind of takes a little while to come around to you. Well, I mean, my thinking was that my plan was to have them cleaned um, or to clean them myself. Well, we could clean them. It would be thousands of dollars, I think. Time to get in back into the house. I've been itching to get in here and continue the demo since I started the other day. And I'm taking a little bit of a different approach today. Bree keeps telling me I need more safety protection. And so by tomorrow, I'll have the, the full face mask and the, um, and suits and stuff. But I am, I should probably wait, but I'm not waiting. I'm going for it. And this gives me most of the protection I need, but anyway, I'm actually really excited about having the full face mask because this is so uncomfortable and from a lot of stuff I've read, the full the full face mask is actually more comfortable. Okay, so the other day I got three quarters of this room gutted out, but I left the wall that has the electrical panel on it. I'm turning everything back off here, except for those two. Actually, I need to make sure I got the right one off. Yes, I did. I'm actually going to take a different approach. I was thinking about leaving around the panel, but I decided I'm going to take a different approach. I'm going to just leave this side and I'm going to switch to this side, tear on all these kitchen cabinets, get the sink out of here, and then I'll take off the surface of this wall, and then I can actually see exactly where every wire is without using a saw or anything. And then if I want to, I can come back and safely cut and just leave like a panel where this can sit until I have an electrician out. Look at that. That was one of the worst sheets of mold on the last one. I'm going to first I'm going to clear out this room and pull the carpet out of here. Like a OSB or a fiberboard. Subfloor is actually in pretty good shape. There's a few moldy water spots. I thought this would be in much worse shape though, considering that the OSB and fiberboard is like has no ability to get wet. But anyway, this is all coming out. I'm gonna do floors last though because I it, we have this nice work surface while we do the ceiling. All right, without further ado. These cabinets, upper cabinets are coming down, and then I'm going to start on that wall. Actually, upper cabinets, lower cabinets, and then I'll start on that wall. Okay, just demolished the kitchen in no time. But before I get any new toys out, I should probably put the ones that I was playing with already away. That's what I always tell my kids at least. I'm gonna clean this mess up. So 
Today is only my partial day. Tomorrow I have a full day, and then next week I should have three or four days that I can go all out on this project. But Bree just headed out to the haulers, so I'm gonna take over with the boys. Um, the girls went with her. She's going down to bring um, make haul a meal and just support her after having had her baby. I did make some other good progress on the house today. I sat down and just looked through the tools I had and um, ordered a few tools that I know I need for this job because, um, for example, I have an old cordless drill that I've had for 15 years and used it on a ton of job sites and it's just basically quit working. I think it, it, I don't know if it's the clutch or something and then some tools that I realized I need to actually um, kind of go over and clean and repair like my um, framing nail gun. <clears throat> so I did some good work there just like getting, realizing, hey, I need to get a few things and I need to um, repair and pull a few things back together. Turn the hose off. Good job. The girls went with Bree to the haulers, so we're doing their chores and our evening chores. The cows have already been taken care of, the pigs have been fed, the chickens put up, the chicks fed. What else is there? Oh, we've got to separate the calves tonight. We're milking in the morning, but I will wait a little while to do this. We usually shoot for 12 hours, and it is 6.30 p.m., and we will not be milking at 6.30 a.m. Then put it back in the barn. Hey, Bardo! These are all the bins we washed after taking the books and throwing them in the dumpster earlier. Can I put it up the way up the <laughs> I just pushed that one up. I'm calling the cow down so the calves will come so I can separate them out. It's not, this is always just a little goofy. The other option is going out and herding the calves down. It's, it can be very challenging though. They don't herd in a straight line. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. We've got two things that are going to make Bree's day when she comes home later tonight if we can pull them both off. Well, one of them's easy. Can I? Here's the first one. Go can ahead, I pick go? it. I want to pick Gently pick it. Don't smash it. I'm going to pick it. There's more ripe figs on this tree than we've ever had before. I'm not sure why, but it's awesome and Bree is going to be really excited. Go ahead. You're going to eat that one? Okay. So only pick the ones that come off easy. Gently pull them off, okay? Oh, that one's good. Was that yummy? Mm -hmm. Yummy. The myrtle mushroom. Hold that bowl with two hands, okay? Oh, thank you. I'm gonna put these figs in them. Don't drop them. Hold them very carefully. Can I have one? Hey, Dad, I wanna say surprise because I found the first one. Okay. You can have one more here. Eat this. Okay, you can have that one. I'm still looking for them. There might be. Oh, beautiful. Is this one ripe enough? This is many times more yes. than we've ever picked. Here. Yeah. We have 11. 11? Yeah. So cool. Okay, Justice, we gotta do this other job. It's, it's not as fun. It's harder than that one. Let's go finish it. One, two, three, go. Last just a second. Let me check. Pull, push, and. Alright, ready? Go. Okay, just a minute. Okay, good. We're moving the milking stanchion out of the barn. Bree hates milking in the dark of the barn down here, so I'm gonna put it between these two barns up here. We'll let the rain wash off over this weekend because it's gross, and then we'll put some sort of real easy, simple cover on it. So my dad's milking it, right? Yeah. Dick, a dick. <gasps> dad, if you move that, like all the way to here, all the way right here, it, it's gonna smash the camera. Well, I've been successful in getting the milking stanchion stuck right down here in front of the camper. It's eight o'clock. I'm going in to put these boys to bed. Guys, thanks for joining us. It's been another great day on the homestead. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.